Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you 11 amazing mods for Minecraft version 1.19.2 and 1.18.2. Let's get started. The first mod on the list is the Banished. This mod introduces new bosses, mobs, blocks, items and armor to Minecraft. To start with this mod you need to find a cleric villager and obtain a new item called Fanatus Heart from him. While you are searching for one, you might encounter new hostile banished slaves in your world. Using the heart you can summon a new boss which is pretty difficult to fight, even with diamond or netherite armor. By killing this boss you can later summon another one, the banished devastator, and the strongest boss, Apollyon. There are new strong weapons and items you can craft or obtain by defeating the bosses. In general this mod is perfect for people who want to include some more hostile mobs and bosses to Minecraft to make the game more difficult and for people who are interested in fighting. I Wanna Skate is a newly released mod for Forge Minecraft version 1.19.2. The mod adds content all about skateboards and skating to Minecraft. There are two new mobs, Skeleton Skaters which are skeletons that will hunt you on their skateboards in order to smash into you and Wandering Skaters, which are villagers on skateboards that will perform cool tricks and sell rare items. Furthermore, you're able to build your own skateboard and drive around with it by performing cool tricks like grinding, a kickflip or an ollie. You can customize your skateboard, change the color, add new cool wheels that glow in the night and emit particles like fire or lightning particles. There are also many new enchantments that let you use your skateboard on water, increase your airtime while doing tricks, slow down the speed decrease while driving around and more. It's a quite amazing mod which adds these new complex mechanics to Minecraft while keeping a vanilla style. Oh, and there is a hoverboard, so you just have to check this mod out. Our third mod is Mega Meteors, and you might have already guessed it, it adds meteorites to Minecraft. These meteors will randomly fall from the sky and are very rare. You can craft new tools, armor and weapons from the material they provide. Sometimes there are also new aliens that crash with the meteors on your world, like the Star Creeper or Metalite Mini Golem. You can craft a meteor protector to make sure meteorites don't destroy your buildings and you can customize the frequency in which meteorites appear, if you want to. Furthermore, there are fun and useful new blocks like a jump pad, a new block that massively increases your speed, a new staff with which you can make explosions and even a small nuke that can cause massive damage. The mod's items, blocks and armor are kept really simple and therefore fit perfectly into vanilla Minecraft. Breezy is a quite simple mod, adding hot air balloons to Minecraft. Now wind particles display above the ground. They appear most frequently close to mountains. The new air balloons can be flown by the player using a flint and steel to ascend and sand to descend. The player can use shears to remove unwanted sandbags. You can't control the direction of the balloon, instead you have to use a new gust gauge to monitor the wind's direction. The wind blows in a different direction every 32 vertical blocks. That way you can steer the balloon and change the direction you fly to. Overall, the mod is fairly simple, but a really balanced and vanilla friendly addition to the game. You are seeing dungeons is a mod for people who want more dungeons, many new items and artifacts, and especially new powerful boss mobs to fight against. There are 4 new groups of enemies. Desert pillagers, mucus creatures, gloomy skeletons and light creatures. These mobs aren't easy to defeat, so you have to use new items included in the mod to fight them. You are able to upgrade your weapons, summon opponents from other dimensions and cast spells. The mod is quite complex and introduces many new items, so it is perfect for people who really want to expand their game and their options for fighting as well as include new really strong monsters. The next mod on our list is something for people who want to have some real story quests in Minecraft. Pump Killager's quest adds a new little story to Minecraft which is pretty simple but still really cool to play through. If you are farming pumpkins, the Pump Killager might appear. This mob will give you a quest that will send you on a little journey, fighting against opponents, performing rituals, freeing prisoners and finally fighting a strong boss and its army. 
As I already said, the story isn't incredibly large, but rather a short and fun little adventure with some fights. The mod doesn't add any new items or blocks and is therefore really vanilla friendly. Up next we have a mod that adds a small expansion to the overworld world generation. Abundant Atmosphere introduces different decorative blocks and changes structures. For example, the ancient city is redesigned giving the structure a larger feel. There are new moss related blocks like mossy stone and clumps and there are new mushrooms that grow for example on trees. Furthermore, this mod includes some new building blocks for calcite, dripstone, basalt and deep slate. The mod doesn't add many features and the things it adds are really vanilla friendly because they are quite simple. Therefore, this mod is perfect for people who want to build a vanilla expanded mod pack. For our next mod, we have Doctor Who Regeneration and this mod adds features to Minecraft I have never seen before, at least not with these great visualizations. The mod allows the player to regenerate upon death. It is inspired by the popular TV series Doctor Who. Now, if you are dying, your death is prevented for a maximum of 12 times, after which you will eventually really die like in vanilla Minecraft. So when your health drops to 0 HP, you won't die, but you will emit a powerful wave of regeneration energy, giving you multiple status effects, causing explosions around you and hitting nearby entities. Upon finishing the regeneration process, the player will be fully healed, fed and supplied with maximum oxygen, along with other temporary effects, which can also sometimes be negative. You might also gain completely new abilities after regenerating. This feature is already implemented in Minecraft with the Totem of Undying, but in my opinion it is much more epic to have this amazing animation. Furthermore, the mod also includes some new mobs, blocks, armor and weapons you can build. Definitely worth checking out. Next, we have a mod called Domestication Innovation. For people who love pets in Minecraft, this mod is just perfect. It does not only add new possible pets to Minecraft, but also includes many items, enchantments, features, blocks and so on. First of all, now axolotls, foxes, rabbits and frogs are now tameable and you can command them like normal dogs. There are new pet beds in which your pet will respawn in case it dies. If you lose your pet while in the follow mode, there is a new block called Wayward Lantern to which the pet will return. You can play with your pet using a feather on a stick. Horses can now be turned into zombie horses and skeleton horses. There is a new villager type, a command drum that you can use to command all your pets at once and many new pet enchantments. These enchantments let your pets for example shoot lightning at opponents or create bubbles to lift monsters up in the air. There is even an enchantment, so a pet always carries a flying jukebox with it. The next mod on our list is more mob variants. This mod doesn't add any new items or mobs, but textures to existing mobs such as cats, chickens, cows, pigs, sheep, wolves and zombies. These textures bring more variety to the mobs you encounter in your world and therefore make the game not as monotonous, which I really like. The last mod on our list is Extractinator. This mod adds a new machine which converts throwaway blocks such as gravel and cobblestone into valuable resources. There are also two new blocks that spawn underground and placing them in an Extractinator yields valuable resources. Definitely a cool concept that fits in terms of design perfectly with mods like Create. This is it for this video, you can find the links to all of the mods in the description below. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos like this in the future, feel free to leave a like, comment or subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.